So this video about our return home is going to be a real interesting one. Our vacation started a lot like this. But it didn't take long for us to come to an understanding of, of the fact that we could make better or make something good out of what seems so difficult. My God, Bones. What have I done? What you had to do. What you always do. Turn death into a fighting chance to live. All right, so watch along as we take something that started off kind of rough and turned it into something wonderful. What is this? What is this liquid substance coming out of the sky? Is it, is it, does it start with the letter R? Welcome you to Thursday. Today is the beginning of the trip home. We are going to be traveling with with these yahoos, Zane and my sister Carice, who's cleaning her car out. We're going to be heading south together. This will be a uh, new one for us. And we're going to go ahead and uh, try and figure out what we're going to do. I don't know. I know what we're gonna do. They don't yet. But let's let's uh, see this voyage home. Dixon Campground in the Helena National Forest. Key with campgrounds in uh, National Forest, they are generally first come, first serve. So it's imperative that you find a spot, you get it, and you, you know, you have to get in in a certain amount of time. You can't show up at midnight and expect to find a space. So here we are, we're in the campground. We're just trying to find a spot. We'll get it all situated. We made it to Cromwell Dixon Campground, right, David? Yep. We've been here before, right? Yeah. Yeah. Making our way back to our trailer. This campground used to have a lot of more mature trees in it, but the uh, beetle kill kind of did that in. But other than that, it's a pretty good campground. Let's level that thing out. You can actually physically see the clouds coming in. We are way up. We're at 6,300 feet, which isn't very way up, but we are at the Continental Divide. 
Look at those clouds rolling in. The only thing that's on my mind is, is my camper going to leak. Yeah, Zane is worried about his camper leaking, but I think it'll be fine. He flex sealed it. And if Billy Mac supports that stuff, then we're good. But look at that sunset we're facing. <laughs> that was a pretty dang good day. Oh wow, watch those move in. They're just moving across. It's Friday morning, finally. <laughs> and I had my my huckleberry yogurt and uh, some granola for breakfast, and I'm ready to roll. It's 10.30 in the morning. Something that you folks might not know about us is we, we get rolling when we get rolling. And uh, yeah, we do sometimes drive till real late to make up for it. We sometimes don't. We just sometimes, we just do what we do. And uh, that's how we stay relaxed until we get to Nevada and then we have to pile on a whole ton of miles, but that's okay. But um, yeah, today is on the agenda is some, can't, uh, we're going to go through Helena. We're going to go do some cave checking out we might check out a, or a lake created by an earthquake we've got all sorts of stuff to do today so stick around what this place Like most good adventures, it involves sometimes a little bit of a combination of things. So we decided that when we found Nevada City on the map, we'd go ahead and go to Nevada City, being that we live in Nevada. <laughs> and so while we're in Montana, we're gonna go visit the namesake, <laughs> uh, well, the, the city that has the name of the state that we're from. Even though we're from Nevada, or from Montana, I'm from Montana, Originally, this is this is kind of a nice mix of them. Here's the main drag of Nevada City, Montana. Not much to it. We're just gonna walk it. It's history. It deserves to be remembered, right? So Nevada City, Montana is actually an interesting place because it is the beginning of what was called, it, it, it's the location where the beginning of the Vigilante movement occurred. And uh, the Vigilantes are actually a really important part of Montana history about bringing order and civility to the frontier here. So Nevada City is a very important part of that history. So I'm glad we stopped in. I was totally not. These clouds are gorgeous. All right, so it is Saturday morning on our trip home from our vacation. And uh, last night was entertaining at best and an example of what normally would happen <laughs> to us. So we are south of Ennis, Montana, along the Madison River, near Earthquake Lake. And there are an ample number of campgrounds, but we were unable to get into a campground last night. And so at 10, 11 o'clock after basically going to literally every single campground in a 20 mile area, and finding them full, and, and we didn't we didn't necessarily start awful late, but every one of them were full by the time we got to them. Um, anyway, we ended up camping or parking in a parking area, and mind you, a lot of these parking areas are meant for fishermen. And uh, we parked in an area that said 
that didn't have any signage to say that we were not able to park there. Anyway, we stopped for the night there at the top of the hill here, overlooking the Madison River, which is a gorgeous spot. But uh, about five o'clock this morning, two guys pull in, park, and they're like, ah, oh, I, the, I called the warden about these people parking here, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, we're, uh, it's seven. I haven't seen a warden, but we're getting ourselves out of here. Let's hope we have a good day. at Earthquake Lake, letting the kids run around, of course. Earthquake Lake was a lake that was created by a seven and a half, or 7.5 earthquake that caused this mountain over here to literally collapse and slide down into the lake, or into the river canyon and dam up the canyon. And about 28 people died in this incident. It's kind of a somber sight, so, but we thought we'd come over here and check it out. So we are in Yellowstone right now. We decided that uh, if we're so stinking close, why not? <laughs> so we're gonna risk the crowded, uh, we're gonna risk the crowds and check it out. I don't know what we're gonna see because I don't know where we're gonna park, but uh, we're gonna see, we're gonna see something. And back there was a car, a truck that hit something and the front end's all wiped out. And from earlier in this vacation, I know how that feels, so best for them. Anyway, catch you. That's the way to drive through.
trip down to downtown Idaho Falls to a really good place called Pie Hole, which is a restaurant down there, a pizza restaurant. Really good place to feed your pie hole. That was good. Really, really good. You can expect a five-star review. All right, so the traveler's best friend, a love station. So there's, we're gonna see a few of these. And in the distance, that's sunset, and we're driving into it for a little bit. This little guy characterizes how it feels after having a great vacation and literally sucking every last hour out of your day, enjoying it. Barely can't even finish his lunch. We have leapt ahead a little bit. We are now home. Unloading the trailer. So now it's matter to have everything bagged up. Pulling all the stuff out of our cabinets. Getting clothes taken. Bye. 